For Hub Radio Phoenix, this is Ron Letters reporting. For some time, you have heard rumors that the Democrat Party was wanting to pack the United States Supreme Court. And Bob Letary, our guest here, was our guest last night and discussed this matter. Bob, give us an update. Ron, the last year I've been working with the Madison Coalition. It's a conservative advocacy group out of Washington, D.C. It's nonpartisan. And they've been working to gain support for a new constitutional amendment called Keep 9. Now, unlike other proposed anti-court packing measures, which only would prohibit Congress from expanding the size of the Supreme Court, this new amendment, Keep 9, would prohibit Congress from either increasing or decreasing the size of the Supreme Court. Now, this has become so essential that Justice Beyer has responded as follows. Let me read you his quote. He said, court packing would be dangerous threat to the checks and balances that guard against the abuse of federal power. Court packing should be permanently prohibited so that no party is ever again tempted to undermine the independence of the Supreme Court. That's how significant this issue is becoming. A partisan Supreme Court will probably make H.R. 1 law. Most legislators that I spoke to before the announcement today about the Democratic congressional plan to expand. There's an actual plan presented today by congressional Democrats to expand the court. So now this H.R. 1, which was assumed to be never happened, that will eliminate, eliminate the state's ability to regulate elections. Anybody can vote with no voter ID. Our taxpayer dollars will be supporting political campaigns. Every dollar a candidate raises, your federal tax, your, your taxes will support six dollars of that one. So the Constitution as we knew it, state rights as we knew it, will disappear if, if, the, if, if the Supreme Court cannot hold this abuse of power by Washington in check. And, and they're, they're going to expand, or they're talking about expansion from how many? Well, currently, we have nine. We've had nine for 130 years, and it's worked well. There's been always a balance, and it's been somewhat bipartisan. Not partisan, but bipartisan in, in, in all of their responses. And they're wanting to increase it by four more justices. Yes. Under, under President Biden, Biden, we can probably suspect that they will be Democrats and liberal Democrats. And, and what can the listening public do about this matter? Well, it's essential for the listening public, listening, listening public to get, get involved, just like I'm involved. I joined the Madison Coalition. I was able to speak to our four Republican House of Representative members and get their attention. Two have signed and two agreed to sign. That means that we've got all four on board. I'm working with the Attorney General's Chief of Staff for him to push this, 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 push this momentum to all of the Attorney Generals countrywide to support this new amendment. That's what you can do. The same thing I'm doing. Get involved. Speak to people. Get them to know what's at stake. It's, it's absurd for me to say this, but it's true. Some congressmen never heard of the Keep Nine Amendment. So get it in front of them. And, and what is the timeline on this? I don't think that there's... Well, we're trying to do it before at the 2022 election. I guess that's... That okay, so probably what, what be you're the saying then, we need to take action immediately. Yes. And so they can get, get a hold of their congressmen, senators, uh, regardless of party. Right. And uh, we'd encourage you to do that. Well, here's the, here, here's where the real uh, evidence that it is a bipartisan response. A poll, collect, a poll conducted by Madison Coalition and the uh, Coalition to Preserve the Constitution conducted independent polls, and they came up with the same results, three to one. American people, we the people, are in favor of this new amendment. Now, there aren't three to one Republicans to Democrats, Democrats to Republican. So truly, we the people see this as a bipartisan or even nonpartisan movement. Excellent. Any other uh, last words for the public? Get involved. Okay, for Hub Radio Phoenix, this is Ron Letters reporting.